that the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because Jehoshaphat sought the Lord like his father David. That Jehoshaphat took delight in the ways of the Lord and he removed all the high places and the idols and the altars of Baal and the other idols in Judah. It could have been easy for Jehoshaphat to tell God, God, I tried to bring this nation back to you. I taught them to put away their idols and to seek you because you alone are God. And here am I facing three large armies who threaten to wipe us out. This is not fair, God. This is not what I expect from you after I've been faithful and I've done what you wanted me to do. Often people respond this way. When they try to follow God and they get hit with a trouble or a problem or a difficulty, they say, God, this isn't fair. I've tried to follow you. I've been good. I've tried to keep all your commands. And now I'm here hit by this, this problem, this trouble, this difficult situation that stares me in my face. Or we can tell God that I've not hurt anybody. I've not done anything wrong. Then why has God given me this problem? Or why are we going through this? It says that Jehoshaphat was afraid. He feared. But he set himself to seek the Lord. In this situation where three armies were facing him and he had to face them, Jehoshaphat was filled with fear but he set himself to seek the Lord. He resisted the temptation of panicking, of getting angry with God, or blaming him, or trusting in his, in his strong army. Yes, he was frightened at the situation that he was facing, but he sought God's presence. God saw their trust and their faith that he had in him. They saw that this this. This king and this, this people are praising him for their victory even before they saw their victory. And that Jehoshaphat was going forth for battle, putting God ahead of him. Not trusting in his army, not trusting in his strategies, not trusting in the, in the prophecy, in the word that God gave him. But he's putting God right in front of him. And that's when God works on their behalf. The secret of strengthening ourselves constantly and continually when we face trials and problems and difficulties is to every day continually and constantly spend time in the presence of the Lord. Rejoicing, prayer, thanksgiving and worship are our tools for strengthening ourselves in the Lord. This is something that is, should be going, ongoing in our lives and not merely that we, what we do when we face crisis or when we face difficulties. In the midst of our situations where we face difficulties and problems and challenges, God wants us to be reminded of who we are in Christ, of our identity in Christ. He wants us to remind ourselves of the covenant that he made. The new covenant far exceeds and is far greater than the old covenant. Another way of strengthening ourselves in the Lord is to know the Lord we seek. Know the Lord we seek. Is to know the Lord in whose presence we are spending time. David faced one rejection after the other. And most of them was most difficult and painful for him. But he turns to the Lord his God for his strength. Because he knows in the past that it was his God who strengthened him all the time. David knew that the source of his strength was outside of himself and that was in his God. So he ran to him. He knew that while he was the weakest and was unable to fight in his own strength, he could be strong in the Lord his God and in the strength of his might. He sought his presence first and God strengthened David. God gave him the answer. When you are in the presence of God, that's where your answer comes from. 